thought I would do quite a different video today. Um, this video is basically talking about my future and kind of like a little sit down chat with me. I put up a poll and um, a question box on my other Instagram and a lot of people said that they wanted me to like sit down and kind of just talk to my camera. Now I do this quite a lot on my other channel and people seem to really love them and today I thought I would take it a step further and actually do a comfier version. Now that we are in kind of the end of lockdown I guess you could say um, people are starting to like go into real like normal life again but I have been keeping it safe and I have been staying inside so I am just sitting on my bed today and I am going to do a lot more work today but I thought I would start the day off with kind of a cosy kind of relaxed mood and I'm starting to get out of breath really. So today I have just taken a photo shoot this morning for my art coursework and for my Instagram. Um, a lot of people know I love to take photos and that actually has a um, kind of a bit of symbolism and a bit of meaning why I do that. So not a lot of people know um, about my career but I have talked about it before. I went through a lot of stages like and phases like everyone did. I wanted to be a teacher when I was younger. I wanted to work in a cafe. Um, fun fact, I actually do work in a cafe. Um, I hopefully will be going back to work in a few months. So that dream did come true. So I guess dreams can come true. I always wanted to work in this coffee shop called the Yellow Bird. Guess what? I work there now. Um, things really do happen. So that's basically what I'm saying. Things can happen. So I really want my future to come true. So my current future plans then um, is to work with like a social media industry and to work in basically the marketing side of businesses hiring kind of social media managers to promote their products and their services. I'm so sorry my throat is so sore. Um, not a lot of people know what that is. Basically a social media manager in kind of like they are very organisational and they plan a lot of meetings and mainly it is to do with social media of course like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, everything like that there and they basically run their social media like a business's social media say like Nike or Nasty Gal or something like that there and they promote their business so they like to get other people involved and stuff like that there basically and mostly revolving around photographs and videos so that is one of the reasons why I am starting to build my Instagram. At the moment I am on 671 followers I'm really trying to get to 700 followers at the end of March. Um, it's a goal really to get to like 1000 followers on Instagram. I think that's everyone's goal. Um, like I personally am a very shy person and I think because of lockdown I have developed um, a confidence in myself and I think that I have felt better about myself even through even though I have been through the absolute worst and everyone has been through the absolute worst like I know some of my friends actually had Covid um, and they suffered with mental health and you know you can suffer with a loss as well so boosting your confidence and boosting yourself up on Instagram is a great way to um, you know build yourself up again so Instagram isn't for everyone. I do understand that. Like something I would always do is when someone asked me, I would say, what's your Instagram? Let's get to know each other a bit better. And they wouldn't have it. Um, like I said, though, Instagram's not for everyone. Um, you don't have to be like a very outgoing person. Like most of my photos are taken at home um, because I spend a lot of time at home. But I try to move around the house, like I would go in the kitchen, I would go in the bathroom. I know today I went out in the garden and outside the shed um, with just a flower. And I have very minimalistic kind of style 
I do think my style has improved during lockdown. Some people might not agree with me, but I would never wear necklaces. And this is like my fifth necklace now. Um, this is just a wee pendant I got from ASOS. The cardigan is from Sheen and the top is from Stradivarius. And then my mom jeans are from New Look. So, you know, social media is a big part of my life, but social media can also be really hard with haters and even YouTube can be very hard as well. Um, I know I took a break from YouTube for like a month or so or a few weeks um, because it was just getting really hard. Um, but life has its troubles, you know, life can be difficult and I was speaking to someone today and they were saying you just have to keep going and do what makes you happy. I am literally living by that quote right now and I believe that YouTube and Instagram could improve and I could really reach somewhere with a future so that's what I'm living by right now. So yeah that is basically my career plan. Um, someone. A few people actually have also said you should start your own baking business. Um, my granddad, I bake for him a lot and he said, you know, you should have your wee side business and I was all, no, not really many people like that. Baking is such a hard career to get into because you need to know how to bake a lot of things. I mainly stick with cupcakes and cookies and don't I rarely bake a cake. I know you've all saw that feel video. I haven't baked a cake since but you know that is life like I said not everything is perfect um, for my career then I really want to go to either university Belfast University and study advertising marketing and communications it's this one called CAM at the Ulster University and I have really looked into it and I think it could be something interesting. I have a lot of worries about university mainly because of finance and I just worry about that in general. Um, I'm someone who likes to keep her money and likes to keep saving and saving but if I do buy something I feel really guilty after it and I know that's something that you just shouldn't feel guilty about. And then the other option I could do is an apprenticeship and I could work with an industry or work with a company and earn while learning, which could be really, really helpful and useful. But I, you know, it's it's all down to like COVID and stuff because I would really hate to be going to university while COVID is still happening. Not only would I be scared of financing, I would be scared of contracting COVID and not being able to see my mum, you know, because of lockdowns and stuff like that there. Why am I getting emotional about this? I, I don't know. But yeah, it's all a bit of a blur at the moment, but I have a set plan that I want to be a social media manager. I'm currently studying A-level art a level business and a level moving image and I think all three of those are going to help me become um, that career and help me with that career so maybe an apprenticeship could be good or maybe a BTEC or something like that there just to help me um, with my CV because I recently found out that experience is needed when you need to be a social media manager compared to a degree but a degree is very good. My mom really wants me to do a degree when realistically I just want to keep pushing on and honestly I when I reach 700 followers I honestly hope that I get a brand deal um, a lot of people have been doing that influencing with Molly course. It is £10. I kind of want to get there. I want to kind of get a brand deal myself and not use a course to help me. A course would be really good like hashtags and everything I got there. Um, I think my big dream though for 2021 is to get my first brand deal. Um, that sounds like really, really stupid, but honestly, getting something like that and promoting a brand 
would just be a step closer to my career and my dream basically so yeah um i probably talked a lot of crap on this video but that is what i want to do when i'm older and i want to maybe travel to like london as well because london is where most of the social media managers are <laughs> so um i guess i just have to keep saving and keep dreaming and not letting anyone get in my way <laughs> So yeah, I hope you really like this video. I honestly feel like I just want to lie here forever and ever. But I have art coursework to do and I edited my photos and hopefully they'll be posted on Monday. If you aren't following my Instagram already, make sure you are. It is Zara19.x and I will link it down in the description bo box below. So if you like this video, make sure a big thumbs up. And I will try and post a new video next week. So yeah, keep dreaming. Things do happen. Take care from me.